Hello again. We continue building our screen flow. Um, and uh, in the prior video, we stopped uh, um, configuring our radio button choices, which were also the pick list values in the preferred method, a method to contact phone, email, or text. Uh, and we configure them through um, this section here. Set um, add choice. Next, we're going to drag a uh, display text component uh, to uh, thank you for uh, to, to thank you the caller for selecting one of those choices. We're going to also collect um, the uh, shipping questions they might have by adding long text area. And um, lastly, um, we. Again, we're going to greet uh, to, to, thank, uh, to thank them for uh, providing the information. We're going to add uh, the date and time component, which we configured um, as a custom field, if, if you remember in the previous video. Another display text component and the, uh, the, the last section is uh, um, dragging a lookup look up component to look uh, to look up a shipping specialist, uh, um, and uh, this will complete configuring our uh, second screen uh, element. Lastly, after uh, we collect all of the details needed for our call script through the screen components, we're going to create a new uh, lead record by dragging the create records element uh, from, the, um, um, <clears throat> for, from the element section. Here, we're going to, uh, just to um, show you, uh, we're going to um, uh, create um, a record on the lead object and um, a very important step is uh, mapping uh, the, the mapping section. For each information we have uh, collected on our screens, we need to map it uh, with uh, the lead object fields. If we scroll down, In the set field values for the lead, uh, we have um, uh, here, are the, uh, here are the fields we have uh, collected from our call script, the company description, the email, the first name, the last name, uh, the preferred contact method, um, the follow-up date. We're going to, um, um, for, uh, we're going to uh, debug our flow and we're going to uh, activate it. We would like also to add our um, our flow um, as a lightning component to the sales app, and we do so through the app manager, uh, and we add the inbound lead call script uh, uh, flow uh, as a utility item. And here it is. We're going to click here. And here is our uh, script we just created, collecting um, the, f the, the first name, the last name, um, thanks, the, uh, the color for the information, collecting the phone number, the email. Lastly, we're just going to test our flow. We're going to fill out um, uh, the first screen element. Uh, we're going to click next. I'm going to select email. Shipping question will be, here is the, here is the second screen component. Uh, we're going to select the preferred method to contact. It will be email. We're going to answer how much, uh, to ask how much it will cost to ship a container to South Africa, to Canada. The preferred um, uh, time to follow up um, we're going to select the date and the shipping specialist is here. Next, um, we're going to, I just, I just went back to the um, flow builder to debug and uh, run it again. Uh, 
and looks like it runs successfully. And I selected uh, Kate Doe as a name.